it is time to forget everything you think you know about studying. More studying does not mean getting better results. This video is part of a series. Click the link in the description to watch the first video. When it comes to excelling in your studies, most people think the secret lies in the perfect study method. Study schedule, latest app, or mastering complex techniques. While these tools are helpful, they pale in comparison to the most powerful determinant of success, your mindset. Your mindset is the foundation of everything you do. It shapes how you approach the challenges, the setbacks and the opportunities. A positive and resilient mindset transforms the obstacles into opportunities for growth. And it turns failures into stepping stones towards success. Without the right mindset, even the best strategies will fail. But with it, you can achieve more than you've ever imagined. If your mindset is wrong, you will not even have the motivation to complete this course and all the benefits that potentially come with it. For most, that is okay. But we are trying to become the best version of ourselves here. You can do this. Many students believe they are not smart enough to join the top 1%, limiting themselves before they have even started. These thoughts are self-imposed barriers and not reality. If you convince yourself it is impossible, you'll never take the first step. And that belief becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Top 1% students think differently. They know that success isn't about being naturally gifted. Although that helps, of course. It's about being consistent in your efforts, strategic planning and relentless belief in your own potential. They refuse to let doubt hold them back. Instead, they embrace the mindset, I can do this. The truth is, the only thing standing between you and the top 1% is your belief in yourself. So stop wondering if you're smart enough and start asking, what can I do today that moves myself closer to my end goal? Once you commit to that question, nothing can stop you. Balance. Let's get one thing straight. You need your free time to recover. Without proper rest, burnout is inevitable. I still remember trying this. I was studying almost 24 seven. I didn't have anything else to do because I felt like I did not have the time to do other things. My overall results went down because of this. But why? Well, because I was burned out. I studied a lot of time, but the quality of that studying was just mediocre. Recovery is just as important as the hours that you study. By maintaining a balance, you preserve the energy, focus and mental clarity that you need to excel. And that not just in your next exam, but also throughout your entire medical journey. 100% of the time is just not sustainable. Medicine is a long and demanding journey and burning out just after the first exam period will only hold you back. Pace yourself. The success isn't about endlessly grinding. It's about working consistently and sustainably. That's why taking time off matters. Top performing students understand that a little bit of consistent effort every day is far more effective than trying to study for 16 hours a day in the exam period. This isn't just about being productive, it's about protecting your mental and emotional well-being. Make time for the things you love, have hobbies, spend time with friends and family and enjoy life outside of medicine. There is more to life than just studying and you'll find that stepping away from the grind makes you more efficient when you return. Keep the bigger picture in mind. That's how you avoid burnout and become the doctor you've always dreamed of being. Falling is okay, as long as you fall forward. Failure is inevitable. It is part of the journey. But the real question is, how do you respond to failure? Do you let it break you? Or do you use it to fuel your growth? 
Do you act on it, learn from it and push forward or do you take it to heart and let it hold you back? I did this for five years and guess what? You learn out of your mistakes. This is one of the most important things you can do. Your ability to embrace failure, learn from it and move forward is key. Making mistakes isn't just acceptable, it is necessary for growth. Every stumble is a chance to learn and improve. You have to become stronger through it. But whether you get up and try again is entirely up to you. Do you act on failure or do you let your emotions consume yourself? Are you able to push through or will you be left behind? Failing is okay, but fail fast and get over it. Don't study more, but study smarter. If you want to achieve exceptional results by simply putting in more hours, that is not the answer. It is time to study smarter. What I'm about to ask from you might push you out of your comfort zone. You won't be studying like everybody else. To reach the next level, you need to leave your old and familiar study methods behind. They might feel safe, but they are just not delivering the results that you want. They are holding you back. How can you expect different results if you keep doing the same thing over and over again? It is time to rethink your approach. And this might feel uncomfortable at first, but growth always does. Trust the process, step out of your comfort zone. If you do so, you will watch your efforts begin to pay off over time and probably faster than you could have ever imagined. 